Hello friends, it's me Doom and today the thumbnail was not a lie. There is a newer, more efficient way to catch the almighty walleye than using the narrow spoon that we all know and love. I say it's better and this is not just an objective opinion, you will catch more fish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into three simple steps for you. So you can more efficiently catch the, uh, the treasured money fish, the walleye. And just like always, we're going to break it down into three simple steps for you. We're going to be talking about location, gear, and retrieve. So just like always, we're going to be heading out to the dock of peace, standing at the end of the dock, and uh, casting out in this direction. Let me show you right quick. So here we are on the dock, no matter where you stand, we're just going to go right here, I suppose. And just like last time with the, uh, with the narrow spoon, you're going to look at this big tree and go just slightly to the left. There we are, right around there. That seems right. Now, let's cover that gear. For the most amount of experience per fish, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and use the lightest possible thing. I This isn't the lightest possible thing to catch walleye. However, it's light enough that I enjoy it and it's still a good fight and all that other stuff. What I'm using is the Featherlight 7 foot. It's an ultralight that can handle up to 9 pounds. And a Callisto MG3000, which can handle a max drag of up to 8.8 .8 pounds. Now combine that with the 0.25 millimeter line, which can handle eight pounds, and you've got yourself a, a good combo. But the undisputed champion in my book is gonna be this combo right here. This is a 1 3rd ounce jig head, number one odd hook. And we are gonna combine it with a glow in the dark worm, four inch. Now that we've covered location and the gear, let's go ahead and check out the retrieve. Now, I don't even have to wait until I catch one to show you guys. I am guaranteeing you right now that I'm going to catch one on my first cast and the next cast and on average the next 24 casts. That is my average with this. Now, the reason I'm saying it's better is because my average with the narrow spoon is about 16.2 successful casts in a row. So, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast out as far as we can in the direction that I prompted before. And we're going to wait for about five seconds. It's been long in five seconds. And we're going to do a retrieve to stop and go. If you see down at the bottom right, I've got my retrieve speed at a three. And we're going to reel three times. Just one, two, three. Let it sink back down at the bottom. One, two, three. One, two, three. So on and so forth. And before you know it, just like I guaranteed... There'd be the fish on the line. Boom, the fish on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and cast a few few more times, get a few more fish. So one thing I want to mention right quick is Fishing Planet IRL tournament is coming to YouTube soon. And there's going to be great things happening and you should enjoy it. So if you like this video, then make sure to hit that like button. But make sure, in fact, to hit subscribe and that bell notification icon so you get notified when the big event happens. Speaking of big events, so to review, we are going to be starting from the dock. We're going to be casting out, here's the big tree. We're going to be going just to the left of the big tree, right about there-ish. There to there. Yeah. And we're going to cast out as far as we can using the one-third ounce number one aught jig head with a four-inch glow-in-the-dark worm. We're going to be waiting until it hits the bottom. Boop. A count of five, three, four, five, and then a stop and go, three reel speed, three reels, then a break. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom. Goddamn fish. Finally, something to note on this lure, although it does catch more fish per higher average of cast, or however you want to put it, um, it doesn't only catch walleye. Now, 95% of the time, it will be walleye, but you can also catch chain pickerel, um, redfin, and yellow perch. Yeah. Oh, right off the bat. Nice. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out. You'll have a full keep net in no time, and yeah. You can make a whole lot of money using this technique, and I hope it helps. 
But questions still remain. For example, what's the next fish species we're going after? How awesome is Fishing Planet IRL, the live action fishing tournament video where we compare real life strategies to Fishing Planet strategies going to be? You can find out the answers to those and more on the next episode of Ondoom Gaming!